Hey, what's up people? It's Marcus B Gaming on your screen again. And even though I'm a little late, I wanted to outline how to get your hands on the Malfeasance hand cannon in Destiny 2. So we got about six steps to cover, so let's hop up into it. The first step, if you haven't done already, is to grind Gambit. I don't believe this step can be done in Gambit Prime, so stick to regular Gambit. What the aim is here is to get the rotten tomato looking boss to spawn in your second gambit round as the prime evil. You have to win the first round to get him to say hello. He only pops out when you have the chance to win. So you have to kill him and win to get the seething heart to drop, which starts the quest. Best advice to slaughter the boss quick fast is to have a fire team of at least two. Three is a little better. Jump on Destiny LFG if you don't have some homies on standby. Best composition in my opinion, and it's just that, an opinion, is a Warlock, Titan, and Hunter. Run Chaos Reach on the Warlock, Melting Point, which is the top tree of the Solar Titan, because after landing a Hammer Strike on the boss, it will add a 50% damage bonus for a time. Throw in a blade barrage from a hunter and that thing is pretty much done. So first, when everything's clear and there are no orbs protecting the boss, have the titan land the strike and activate melting point. Right after that, launch those supers. When you got the heart, run over to the drifter and get the next step, City of Secrets. You have to X off 25 taken bosses, not just yellow bars but the next level up. My call for the most painless way to get this done is the enemies moving against each other event. This happens in front of the opening to the building in the starting area of the Dreaming City. You can get more than six off your list each time if you're quick enough. Another option is lost sectors like the Chamber of Starlight. You can run this over and over, but I feel like that takes more time. Next up is the beefed up Corrupted Strike in the Dreaming City. Grab some friends and knock this thing out. It's power level 580 and is tougher than the regular run. Get it done and you'll receive a depleted weapon core. Talk to Drifter again and now it's time for a Gambit Marathon. The business as usual quest step requires you to bank 500 motes and get 10 Gambit wins. If you use a variation of the strategy I mentioned earlier, the wins will come sooner than later. And as for the 500 motes, don't get killed with motes. It will punish you and set back your progress a good amount. Best thing to do is to play it safe. Bank after enemy waves immediately and bank lower numbers. Bank five and maybe 10 when the situation drops a lot of motes in front of you. Playing it safe is best. Don't get caught holding a bunch of moats. It will make this quest step painful, okay? Now up last is the lights out step. You have to kill 25 guardians in Gambit. This can be done when you're invading or when they are. And the second objective is to get four kills in one invasion, which could be tough. It took me a while. Or the alternative to that last step is a team member has to do it three times. This means it'll happen eventually, but you're relying on luck. Tips here that help me do it by myself are having a machine gun with lots of ammo. The hammerhead is a great choice and have some heavy ammo finder perks equipped on your armor. You'll get killed by this gun enough to know that it works if you flank the enemy team just right. Now another secret little tip I have for you is to use a roaming super with a healthy amount of time to work with. The Dawnblade did it for me pretty nicely. I know you know this already, but here's the secret. is to pop your super before you jump into the portal to the other side. You'll surprise that team because they'll be expecting you to try to line up a shot because they won't hear the audio cue from activating your super. It's sneaky, 
but it's effective. It's how I did it. When this is done, go see you know who again and pick up your prize. You're done. And on that note, so am I. Thank you for watching, and I'm hoping this video helps you out. I've got more videos on the way, and I hope to see y'all next time. I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> that was made for you.